Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I've got a Halloween set to show you guys and it's the first one I've done this year. I didn't do many last year so mm, I did feel like I struggled a little bit getting the design to flow and I wasn't 100% happy with the shaping so it was a little bit of a fail set but I thought I would show you guys anyway so you can let me know what you think in the comments below. So on to the design, I'm working on the flexi hand today, I've slid in some tips to act as the nail beds and then I've applied these pre-pinched square tips. And then the mistake I made first of all was I didn't blend in the tips and these particular ones are quite thick so it made it a little tricky applying that first layer of acrylic as you can see here. So then on to the design, I'm coming in with Black Beauty from Glitterama. I've placed that at the free edge and blended it back. And then I'm just coming in with another bead here so that there's no harsh line and it's faded out. And then this particular red is called Simply Red and that is also from Glitterama. And this is actually a beautiful red. It was my first time using it and it was so easy to work with, but it's really, really vibrant. So I think this will be popular at Christmas time because it's like your classic Christmas red as well. So I've placed that down at the cuticle area, got my cuticle nice and neat, and then I'm just fading it down the nail. Now I'm working quite wet and thin with these two colors to begin with because they are highly pigmented and I'm doing, you know, it's a tricky ombre. I'm not gonna lie with these two colors, I struggled. So, by keeping it thin, it means that if I need to come in with more of each of the colours, I can layer it up until I'm happy with the fade. So here you'll see I come in with another bead of the Simply Red at the cuticle area. I'm just getting the cuticle area nice and neat and then bringing that down so that it is really nice and opaque. Now, Simply Red and Black Beauty from Glitterama are strength powders, so they don't need to be capped in clear acrylic. So it doesn't matter too much if my cuticle area is built up because I'm only going to be capping this now at the blend area because I'll be coming in with some glitter. So technically, this ombre didn't have to be perfect because I knew I was applying these glitter dots over the top, but I wanted to try my best to get it as neat as possible. So these particular glitter dots are from Charlie's Nailer and they're called, I think the mix is called Amber and it's got these beautiful hollow red dots as well as some flat white and black ones and I felt like it really tied in well on this ombre nail. I really liked how even though this was a simple nail, I felt like it really was really pretty, especially for a Halloween set. So I'm just placing them in a swoosh across that blend nudging the dots around until I'm happy with how they're placed. I'm just coming in with a few more of certain colours until I'm happy with how it flows across the nail. And I'm just picking these particular ones up with my wet brush because I don't want to add any more bulk to the nail. And then this is the other glitter mix I'm going to be using. This is called, I'm not 100% what it's called, I think it's called Trick or Treat and it's from the Glitter Nail Angel. However, as always, if you check the description box, all of the products I use will be listed below, along with some discount codes I have for both of those companies. Onto the ring finger, and I'm applying Black Beauty at the cuticle area, nudging it up towards the cuticle and pulling it down the nail, working really really careful because black acrylic stains the skin so easily now i know i'm working on a silicone hand but you want to get into good practice and make sure that you don't get any of that acrylic touching the skin so i'm just being super careful i'm working with probably a medium to wet bead so i've got full control over it and then i'm going to be using these beautiful halloween decals from charlie's nail art so I've cut that decal out and soaked it in water for around 10 to 15 seconds, slid it off the backing paper and then I'm just applying it to that tip area, just nudging it around into place. 
Now I find these decals really, really easy to work with. I've capped them in acrylic and gel top coated over the top of them. And they always, you know, they never have no product breakdown or anything like that. And then I'm coming in with that Halloween mix that I showed you previous. And I'm just applying this over the top of that black beauty acrylic and then just down the sides, basically because the decal didn't fully fit the nail. So I'm just sort of blending it in so it doesn't look like a harsh line between the water decal and the acrylic. And I love this glitter mix because it's got these really small um, skull and crossbone pieces in it, as well as some bats and other bits and bobs. But I really felt like the skulls tied in with the theme that I was going for for the set. So I'm just nudging that around until I'm happy with how it's all placed. And I've just picked that glitter up with small wet beads of clear acrylic. Again, trying to keep the design nice and thin so that it's not adding any unnecessary bulk to the nail. And then now on the pointer finger, this is the nail that I felt like was a bit of a fail. So I'm coming in with Brilliant White from Glitterama and placing that at the cuticle area, patting and nudging it into place and fading it down the nail. And then my plan was to use another one of the decals at the tip area. So once I've faded that out, I'm just adding a little bit more acrylic to build up the coverage of the white because like I said, I didn't blend in the nail tips. It made application a little bit tricky. So that was a silly mistake and not even the first time I've made it. So it was just a bit annoying. And again, I apologize for the groggy voice. I have a cold when I've been doing all these voiceovers. So I feel and sound awful. So then I'm coming in with another one of these water decals from that same pack and I've just placed that down onto the nail. And then, I don't know, I just felt like I couldn't get this nail to flow. So I come in with some glitter dots. Well actually, first of all, I come in with some white acrylic down the sides just to blend in that decal because again, it didn't fully fit the size of the nail. These are full cover water decals, more designed to do shorter nails with. So where I'm using them in a longer set, that's why it was a little bit tricky. So then I was just gonna do like a glitter dots around this part of the decal, but it just didn't look right. So I decided to cover the whole white area with the glitter dots. Um, and then I just still wasn't 100% happy with it. So I faded them down slightly um, and then yeah, I just sort of had to leave it because I didn't know what else I could do to it but I just wasn't 100% happy with how this nail turned out. So I'll just let you guys watch me do this bit.
So then I feel like I've faffed around with this now for what seems like forever. But once I finally have finished, I'm going to move on to the little finger. So I'm coming in with a bead of Simply Red, placing that down at the cuticle area, getting the cuticle all nice and neat and then dragging it down towards the free edge, neatening up my side walls to make sure that there's none touching the skin. And then I do come in with another bead or two just to build up the colour of this on the nail bed area because I want the nail bed area to be the opaque red and I want it to fade out into that translucent wash of colour over the free edge because I'm then going to be coming in with that Halloween glitter mix on the free edge. And again, simply red doesn't have to be capped. However, because of all the design work that's involved in this set, I'm going to cap all the nails in clear acrylic anyway. And then here I'm going to be coming in and applying that glitter mix over the top and just blending it out towards the cuticle area. I do go quite far down the nail. Um, so I've just picked that up with a small bead of clear acrylic, placed it down on the nail and then I'm keeping my brush nice and wet so I can nudge all the acrylic around. I'm not sure if you can really pick it up on camera but there's quite a few large chunky pieces of glitter in this mix so I'm just making sure that I've got them all lying flat and in position and then I went off camera I capped all of the nails in clear acrylic filed them into shape and buffed over them because they are dark colors the scratches from filing do show up so you need to make sure to give the nails a good buff to buff out the scratches basically and I'm then going to come in and top coat all of the nails with my Premier Gel No Wipe Top Coat. Once I've finished doing this, I will then pop them in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Now, as I said, I wasn't 100% happy with how this design turned out, but I still wanted to share it with you guys because it was my first Halloween set of the year and I did still really have a lot of fun doing it. I just felt like it didn't flow as well as it could have done so if there's anything you would have done differently let me know below now at the end of the video I have left a little clip of the nails and a picture for you guys to check out thanks so much for watching it really does mean the world to me I really appreciate all of the comments and likes and if you're not already subscribed to my channel I would obviously absolutely love it if you did. So thanks again so much for watching and I shall see you all again in the next video. Bye bye!